Given given Ian a credit, I thought they really played well. We have obviously have to do some things uh, a lot better, but I want to give them credit. You, you knew their defense was elite. Yeah. Uh, how did it How did it look in person compared to what you were prepared for? You know, I think it's really good, and uh, we we obviously have to figure out a, a, a better better plan, better attack. We've got to do some things better, but give them a lot of credit. I thought their defense was uh, was as good as we thought it was going to be. Was this the most you've seen your players maybe get frustrated with? It, it did seem like every time they came around a cut, there was someone there. Every time they got an angle, there was someone there. Is this the most you saw pressure maybe frustrate you guys? You know, I think. Um, you know, we've, we've had that in other games. I just think having Trace on the back line really presents a lot of problems, his ability to to uh, play on the back line and, and do some things. But uh, uh, all, all in all, um, you know, we missed some open shots too. But, but again, uh, give their defense credit. Guys got outscored, I think, 38-10 to 10 in the paint. And uh, obviously a lot of what EJ wants to do is in and around the basket. And Zed was a non-factor, it seemed, just uh, – is that the entire game in a nutshell, that they were able to get the easy ones around the, the, the basket and you guys just, for whatever reason, just could not uh, get you know, score inside or draw fouls or get much of anything done? Yeah, I think it's a lot of it. They, they certainly controlled the paint, um, uh, both offensively and defensively, really. You know, I thought EJ got bodied and, and uh, knocked off a couple of his shots, uh, uh, but uh, uh, he's also got to kind of play through uh, not play through contact, but he's got to play to, to score the ball. Um, but I, I, I think in, in general, again, we just got to find ways to put him in better spots, but the paint was the difference for sure. With, with EJ, I mean, this is obviously you're coming off the break, and this is his second tough outing. Is he still feeling it? Is he putting a little bit too much pressure on himself? Because he doesn't quite look like he did before. Uh, you'd have to ask him. I don't want to speak for him. I think, um, you know, I think um, in general, you know, he's – Maybe it doesn't quite look the same, but also I think, you know, tonight they really defended him well. And uh, we got to figure out how to get him in a few better spots. And um, I think he's got to impose himself a little bit more, really, in terms of uh, some of the effort plays that he can make uh, to create some easy baskets. Um, that's that's the biggest challenge for him uh, right now. Getting Kyle back, uh, he was able to make a little bit of impact here and there, but um, what did you see from him? And what did I thought he gave us good minutes. He just didn't quite look himself yet, um, but I thought he gave us good minutes, and uh, obviously we, you know, we need him. He's going to be really important for us. Was there a particular moment in the game where you felt like it was getting away from you? Oh, I just think it was a little bit of a slow drip, and uh, you know, it got to the point there where it got uh, got double figures. But uh, you know, it's frustrating when you have trouble to score. But again, give them credit for that. Yeah. I think twenty-six percent field goals second half and ten turnovers. I mean, you're not going to beat no uh, even a, uh, I don't. I was going to say a MAC team, anybody uh, yeah. with that type of showing. Just uh, what did you notice as a continuing? Theme, just not getting the ball where you needed it to get to, to have a good look at the basket or just what? I thought we missed some open shots, but uh, I, I thought also that uh, we just weren't able to impose ourselves enough really through the paint uh, on drives, um, got bodied up on drives, uh, um, you know, put ourselves in too difficult a position at times uh, driving the ball and, and, and uh, getting the ball tipped or blocked. I didn't think our rim decisions were great, but you know, all things that we just got to work, we got to work on film and clean up for sure. Michi talked about not being connected enough. It was basically saying like guys weren't where they needed to be, guys weren't on the same page a lot. Did, did you feel that that was an issue? No, or that no, I, I didn't. I thought we, I thought we could have done a better job communicating, but uh, in certain situations. But no, I didn't. I didn't really think, see that as an issue as much. I just think we've got, we've got to play better. We got to compete harder, and we got to find ways as coaches to get them in, in better spots. Does this give you new things to teach? You haven't had a game like this yet. Is this, is this a new, some new lessons here? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's life on the road in the Big Ten, and um, you know, I think uh, uh, the game got out of hand a little bit, so that's the first time. I think there's a lot of things we can take from it and learn from it. Uh, we certainly need to because we're we're playing a good team on Sunday. They keep coming at you, so we got to figure out a way to get some rest and move forward. You're playing uh, two games a week, you know, pretty much without fail the rest of the way. You're two games back from your hiatus. Is this, you never want to see a winning streak get stopped, but at the same time, is this a good chance to take a step back and reassess for what's, I mean, the games are going to come every three and four days now, and, and you got to be 
maybe better prepared. I don't know what what's your thought. Oh, I just think we've got to uh, we got to get some guys um, rested. We got to learn yeah. uh, how we can uh, how we can do some things better. Um, uh, we've got to you know. Bottom line is tonight uh, our offense really failed us. I thought defensively we didn't play as smart as we needed to all the time. Um, but but tonight was really was which it's not been all year, but tonight it was really about our lack of offensive um, you know, performance. Does, are you still, do you think you were still feeling some of the effects of the layoff? It just seemed like some guys didn't quite have their their usual juice <clears throat> still. You know, I, I don't know. It's so hard to see and so hard to say, but uh, you know, I certainly don't want to you know, don't want to look at that. I think there's just correctable things outside of that that's 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 really not in our control, uh, whatever that is. Um, we can get in a little bit better shape, and I think that's something that we can control. Um, those guys that were off can, can get in better shape. And I think that's that's probably the thing I'm looking at the most is how do we do that without, you know, without getting our guys, uh, the guys that were out for an extended period of time, uh, it affecting their legs. Does it seem like like Justin and Zed, like as the game went on, they were sitting for longer periods of time, and I don't know if that's a fatigue thing or if that was a issue with how they were playing thing, or maybe both. Yeah, I just felt like we had some some other guys that deserved an opportunity in that situation. Cool. All right, coach. Thank you very much. Thanks, Have Chris. a good trip.